Hey guys, I'm back for um, my testimony as promised. Uh, if you all have been following me, you know that December 20th is a very special day for me. I knew it would be special for me this year because this time last year, the Lord made me a promise. And um, I tweeted last night at midnight that I wanted y'all to know that he's a promise keeper. He is, he is. And that he came through exceedingly and abundantly on his promise to me that things would be different this time next year that's what he told me on december 20th of 2019 it is december 20th of 2020 i got on here earlier in the week and that's i think that was my last video so i apologize i haven't been on here i know that god has been telling me to like rest and reflect and do all those things right but um i told y'all i remember what i was doing december 16th last year that was a monday and i was um hysterically crying you know like because i was just like you know something's gotta give like what's going on and i knew the following tuesday the 17th that i was gonna have to change my number um i just I don't know and even thinking back about it now i know that was actually my first obedient step i told y'all in the december dare video my first thing i had to do was let go of my toxic relationship no shade to that person anything like that it just wasn't in alignment with god's will okay wasn't bringing out the best of me wasn't allowing me to be who god has created me to be help me holy spirit okay so my first obedient step in that was to change my number i knew that and so the remainder of that week last year was very challenging for me that friday december the 20th again y'all can go look at the vlogs on life of mimo because we talked about depression on that vlog I, I was like in tears most of the vlog me and my mom talked about what it's like to be depressed on christmas i was going through it i have never experienced a christmas where i was depressed i was thinking about that today um most of the guys i have dated if they did leave around the holiday time it was around thanksgiving but even then i have always been happy around christmas no matter what was going on in my relationship life last year was the first time that that just was not the case like I can't describe it to y'all and even in that itself made me more depressed than anything because you're supposed to be happy during Christmas right um especially me I was mad at myself because I felt like I didn't have anything to be sad and depressed about y'all get what I'm saying prayers for everybody who um you know you've lost a loved one you know something of that nature around this time that would make sense you know in my head that you would be upset feeling depressed for me I knew I was down bad and thinking wrong to be that low because of a relationship anyways i never been depressed like that. that that's that's the point i was getting to so on friday december the 20th of 2019 i went to at&t and i changed my number i woke up crying okay i cried the whole time i was in at&t my dad was looking like we don't get together like what are you doing the girl that was helping us was looking like are you okay i cried the entire time we was in at&t because i knew i was letting go of something i was at work totally unaware of this that was happening this day <laughs> i knew about all of the stuff up until this day so i'm at work minding my own business thinking everything is you know what it usually is right. but all of this is going on without my knowledge yes yeah, so i was with my dad most of the day and he didn't he knew why i was changing it he he's the one who actually told me to change it right and i knew when he said change it i needed to change it so i knew i was going to be doing that during the whole week it was just a rough week for me remember the 16th to the 20th of last year was a monday through a friday this year it was um what was the 16th the 20th it was on sunday so the 16th was wednesday did i do that right i don't know something close like that so cried the whole time at at&t i had did a journal entry that i actually just found the other day and read it your girl was hurt like i actually should have got that to read to you all i am not that same girl but i and i i, I prayed at the end of the journal entry mama and i was like lord i want your will to be done i don't want to hold on to this if this isn't what you want for me i i prayed that in the journal entry that was not what he wanted me to hold on to okay somebody say don't let your boyfriend keep you from your husband and every time i saw that I, I didn't like how I felt when I was seeing it. So if you see that and you like, you know, you feel some type of way, you know that that's, you know, like that's where Megan was at. Again, no shade towards that person. That just wasn't in alignment for God's will for my life, okay? So later that day, um, I had a new phone. And that just, it goes to show like none of this stuff, materials do not make you happy, okay? Like that is not where you find joy. That's not where you find peace. That's just not fulfilling. So I, I like I told you, I've always been like in the state where I was straight, you know, more than straight. I've always been blessed. But to have all that going on last Christmas and to feel, still feel so low, like I just, I don't understand. So later that night, me and mom did the video. She she knew like, everybody knew I was going through it. You know, I was over Christmas. I was just telling her that when we got home from church. I was over Christmas, like, and I don't feel like that this year. So hear me out when I say he's a promise keeper. I'm excited. I can't wait to see how the next five days unfold. Even if God don't do nothing else for me, I'm happy for where I am this year. I'm happy where I find myself this year, December 20th of 2020, and it's no coincidence, okay? 2020, December 20th, that's, that's not a coincidence. I'm happy where I find myself. I'm thankful where I find myself. Um, and I'm excited about Christmas. And last year, I was like, can this just be over? Like, I didn't want to see nobody 
happy. I didn't want to see nobody smiling. I didn't. I didn't want to feel. You know what we're supposed to feel during Christmas time. Um. All right. So fast forward the night of the twentieth. Um. That's when after we had got done vlogging and stuff, I uploaded the video. I went upstairs and I actually stayed the night at my parents' house last night because I felt like, a, in part of remembering and reflecting on where I've come from, it made sense for me to sleep in the den last night. Okay, I'm not gonna sleep there tonight. I'm going back <laughs> to my house. But I needed that moment of reflection last night, and I and I had it. So I was um, walking around, pacing. That was my first honest like prayer to God in a long time because I hadn't had one those three years I was in that you know relationship so I'm pacing around the damn floor I'm praying and I'm telling God you know like hey something's got to give like I can't live like this like I, it was bad and I had told I tweeted this last night I was over my life I wanted to die like God let me die please because the pain was so it was so unreal for me like how in the world do you even hurt like this like I, I just didn't understand and so that's where I was with God and I was like either kill me or you know take the pain away like right now and you take it away right now and he told me and like i was crying out to him about all types of stuff and it was relationship specific he has promised me one of his sons help me holy spirit but he told me this time next year will be different and i, I kid y'all not i heard him playing this day i hadn't been in a place where i could hear him in so long I, maybe that's why it was so crystal clear when he said it he said this time next year will be different and i dried my tears and i went to sleep okay um and this is the night i had the dream that i was on a boat and my mom about to help me that's why i'm doing this with her in the car i was on a boat the waves was crashing over the cruise ship boat i've talked to y'all about this in a previous um video and all i heard the entire night because it felt like i was like that for eight hours in the fetal position on this boat all i heard was i'm with you i won't leave you i love you that's what i heard and when i woke up the next morning on the 21st i had hope hope i hadn't felt in years okay i'm not saying things changed overnight because they didn't but the transformation that has taken place in my life the last 12 months is only because of this love that he gives us this everlasting love it's because he was with me in the storm that's what my mom about to sing because this is my testimony okay this is my testimony i tweeted about it last night okay no man no one man will ever love you the way that jesus christ is going to love you the way that god loves you okay there, there's no other relationship that will fulfill you in the manner in which that one does you won't find peace, love, joy anywhere else. And that's my testimony because that's why I was down bad. I was trying to find all that in a human. No matter what human it is, you'll never find that in a human, okay? And I was depressed. I wasn't in my right mind. He promised me that things would be different. And I'm here to tell y'all, he's a promise keeper. Things for me are significantly different. He didn't promise me half the, well, not that I heard like I did that night. He didn't promise me all the stuff that y'all have seen him bless me with this year, okay? He's a good God and he blesses us exceedingly and abundantly. He promised me that this time would be different. And when he said that, it was my heart, my mind, the way I thought, the way I felt, okay? I need y'all to understand that. So he's a promise keeper. So if you find yourself in this storm, because we talked about this in the Rainbows and Promises video, know he's still with you. He'll never leave you or forsake you. And on the other side, it is beautiful rainbows. And I pray that he shows you the rainbows even in the storm, okay? Okay? Like, I love y'all. I might expand on it some more this week, but I just want to make this brief because I didn't want to not upload it on the day where it's been, it's been a year to date since he made me the promise and he came through on his promise well before today, too. That's why I know it's more details to the promise, okay? Because I know I was crying out to him about relationships. I was crying out to him about why am I always single, the one looking crazy during the holidays. When is it going to be my turn, God? Like, that's what I was crying out to him about in that moment. Help me, Holy Spirit, because I'm going to speak on faith right now. I know that's what he meant when he promised me it would be different, okay? because my mind and stuff been different since uh the summer like he been doing transformation in me but everything is literally different it is and like i said he has promised me one of his beautiful sons so get out of these relationships that you know you're not, you know you're not supposed to be in okay it's more i could say but I, that's all i want to say because we got stuff to do i don't want to rush it but we got stuff to do so i'm gonna let my mama saying i love y'all okay all right be blessed i really don't want that on me like that but ah, she gonna sing okay. and bless us do i gotta do background Yes, she do. I don't know how to do it, but we're going to figure it out, y'all. Okay. I'm out on an ocean So dark and so dreary The waves are rolling high I can't see my way but I know a captain knows all about sailing and I'm sailing over oh Lord life's raging sea 
I'm out on an ocean So dark and so dreary The waves are rolling high I can't see my way But I know a captain Knows all about sailing And I'm sailing over Oh Lord, life's raging sea Oh, I'm sailing over Life's raging sea. Life's raging sea. Jesus, my captain. Jesus, my captain. Will comfort and keep me. Will comfort and keep me. Oh, why should I worry? Oh, why should I worry? Or ever be sad Or ever be sad I'm sailing over I'm sailing over Life's raging sea Life's raging sea And look, look at this I can smile again <laughs> y'all will too i promise you you will he's good okay surrender let it go trust him i had to let go of a lot to gain a little so this is the december dare update for december the 20th we still got 11 days for god to blow your mind if you let him okay he moves swiftly he's able be willing trust him we love y'all have a blessed rest of y'all day